Fort Smith, a jury is deliberating the fate of a quadruple murder suspect. 58 year old Raymond Gore is on trial for his alleged role in the 2022 shooting in Prentice, Prentice Park. Angelic Arentock has followed this case all week and tells us what led up to deliberations today. Both sides wrapped up closing arguments in front of the jurors. They're now deciding whether to find the defendant, Raymond Gore, guilty or not guilty of aggravated murder, among other charges. Before closing arguments, jurors went to the neighborhood where the deadly quadruple shooting happened. They stood on LaSalle Avenue and overlooked Maple Avenue, where the prosecution's main eyewitness said he saw the shooting take place. Michael Canty testified he saw Gore outside the house, then knock on the door and shoot one of the victims. During closing arguments, prosecutors reiterated Canty's recollection of the day of the shooting. They also focused on Gore's previous statements made to police, in which a detective testified Gore changed stories about a black SUV Canty claims he saw near the crime scene. Defense attorneys held a poster board in front of the jury with an enlarged get out of jail free card. They wanted to paint Canty as an informant who testified out of self-interest because he has an outstanding probation violation in Portsmouth. He's getting consideration for that charge in exchange for testimony. Defense attorneys also described Canty as untruthful, citing inconsistent statements made in court. Attorneys representing Gore also brought up how Canty used his phone while on the witness stand and lied to the judge about the nature of his text. In Portsmouth, Angelic Arentalk, 13 News Now. Raymond Gore's nephew Antoine Gore is also facing charges in this quadruple murder.